Hey everybody, this is Game Emporium coming back to you. Um, thank you all for tuning in once again. Um, this one is called uh, Mario Walk of Life, and I had created this one, and uh, Kurt from Nintendo World Reports had played it, and so I give credit to him uh, for playing it and such, and streaming it on his channel. This is his gameplay. Um, anyway, I wanted to point out that I uh, created this level. He was trying to figure out what to do at this point. Um, and I kind of made it a little bit puzzle based. I'm not a very good puzzle maker, but I ended up grabbing this idea from uh, a person online that did what was called Ashley's Puzzle Mansion. I thought it was brilliant uh, how he did it, and um, so I kind of I figured out how he did this, and um, so apparently <coughs> you can destroy blocks, and when you go through a pipe, they, the those particular blocks are not reset. So it kind of made sense that okay well I can use this to my advantage and um, make kind of a, a puzzle out of it where I could destroy the blocks as you'll see here in just a second he's gonna go up this here and then drop the bomb and it ignites using those flames right there and um, he was trying to figure out okay well, that must have did something we, we, we don't know yet Anyway, you saw earlier that he couldn't get past that point. Well, um, I, I guess since blocks are, after they've been destroyed, they're permanent. And so, um, as you see now, he can, he can pass through. Um, I thought this was a very interesting concept that someone came up with. They did, what, they did a huge puzzle out of it. Uh, where you had to complete four different rooms to complete the course, basically. And I was just like, what? You had to complete all four rooms? How? And um, after learning how he did it, um, it became a very interesting concept. So in other words, you could trap somebody, but as long as you can uh, get them out of there uh, and... Uh, and able to move forward with a level, um, I, I found this to be very interesting. Um, and so I created bombs dropping down a mine shaft, like I said, and it turned out to be kind of a kind of a puzzle level, an interesting puzzle level. I I really liked doing this level, and it's really enjoyable. You had to, I, I made it to where you had to complete three small rooms to move forward and uh, release the bomb to uh, blow the blocks up since it's permanent, you know. And, uh, and then I had to try to tr see if I can create a little bit of unique track. <laughs> um, the, the thing will come back for him here in just a second. There it is. There he goes, up and away. <laughs> um, and then he's going to complete the third trial, um, where he had to pick up Yoshi, and um, if you know my Yoshi's Breath of Fire, I put a little bit of puzzle element into that one as well. Um, he already knew to pick up the Fire Flower for destroying the bombs for his way forward. And uh, since fire can go through walls and such, you know, I figured it was kind of a good puzzle element there. Eh, it's not too hard, it's not too soft, but, you know, kind of in the middle. And um, I made this kind of a sh short level. Most of my levels are pretty long, so um, he should be able to get through this in a matter of time here pretty soon. Actually, he's almost done. 
So, anyway, uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in once again. Uh, you can leave comments below. Um, I'll uh, put in the level code. Um, and I want to also thank Nintendo for creating this awesome game. I love it. Um, I love creating and uh, trying to put my mind to it. Well, thank you once again for tuning into Game Emporium, and I everyone have a wonderful day. Thanks.